What's going on dudes and dudettes, welcome back to some more Starcraft 2. This is probably going to be one of the wackiest games that you have ever witnessed in my life. So what I want to say is, this is this is going to be a 2v1. Uh, in the top left side we will have Toasty and our very own SOSDDX walkies. And in the bottom right, slash centre, we're going to have Jake. It is going to be a 2v1, because Jake is the best player on the SOSDDX team at this moment in time. So, what we we'll Jake's. Jake's beat 2v1 players before, me and Tom. That cast is, is for another time, which we don't want to show, because it was a horrible game. But, this time, James is a better player than I am, and Tom, like I said, Tom's... Tom's just Tom. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Tom. Uh, Tom's just Tom. So, what we're going to do is we're going to face off against Jake to see who wins. Hopefully, they can keep the dignity intact, but we will see anyway. So, let's see what's going on. You'll have to bear with me, guys, because I'm really shit at Zerg. I don't know what Zerg's going on. Tom's obviously going for a very quick war off, as is Jake at the bottom right hand side. Jake, James, Jake usually goes for his at 11, his first supply depot at 11, but that does mean he's supply bot for a little while. But that does mean he can start getting SCVs out straight away. James is going to be using his drone to scout. Little does he know he's going to be down here. He'll probably, by the time that goes up, Jake will probably have warred off by then. Tom is now putting down his barracks. Only problem with James is he can't actually block off anything. But that does mean that um, he might have a slight advantage because James will probably go. Well, James is already on spawning pool. So, excuse me, sorry about that. That means he can't go hatch before pool, which James has stopped doing it anyway because Jake has been giving him some supply, uh, supply some tips on what to, how to play Zerg and things like that because the matches he's seen. Tom has not warred off properly again. So, let's just uh, mess with him with a little bit. Gam changer. Oh no, now he has walled off correctly. See, Jake has now walled off completely the by the time James that gets there, he's already got him always going for Reaper harassment. James Jake is a pain in the ass for that. Jake is mining off one gas at the moment and no one else wants Gam. <laughs> That's game. Okay, so Tom, stop talking to me and doing that. I don't know if that's blocked off correctly. I think it might be dumbass. Okay, so Tom is now going through. Tom's gone through. Tom's blocked off nice and simple now. Jake has, however, got his repro. That is the first unit of the game so far. And it looks like James is expecting the repro harassment. So, whether he's going to get some. He's got a queen out ready, as per usual. Tom is probably being told right now that he's going for repro harassment. So, he's probably going to be building. So Marines is going to be building the bunker as well for extra defense, and there is James's hatchery. But I don't know if that was the best idea putting it there because that means it does closer. But if it's in the center here, then you might have more chance of defending it because then either side can defend it. Tom is mine currently mining off. Well, he's not mining off any gas at all. He's upgrading to an orbital command. Jake probably on. Oh, so Jake hasn't actually. I think Jake's going to go for a 1-1-1 build, which is usually used for Protoss, as far as he told me. Uh, so that's one barracks, one factory, one starport. I don't know what he is going to do. James, uh, sorry, Jake usually does. Where's the Reaper harassment? There is the Reaper harassment. That is probably going to get taken out really easily. That's going to get denied. Did he take out any thingies in? Oh, I actually can't do the actual cool name things and things like that. I don't know if he actually killed any. He's attacking this base, so he probably won't do anything because he's got two Zerglings there on his way. But the Reaper will probably end up getting away. He might destroy, kill. It's a nice start step there by Jake. He's going to kill one of them. Perhaps two, maybe, if James isn't careful. If James isn't careful, he should know. He's not going to win that battle against the Reaper. James is now going to lose both his Zerglings, but the hatch just uh, exploded just in time. Also, Jake isn't going for a 2 2 2 uh, 1 1 1 build. He's going for a 2 racks, a factory. He's probably going for an orbital. No, he's not going for an orbital yet. But James is going for metabolic boost. Let's keep an eye on. Let's see what Tom is doing. What's Tom doing? Tom is going for a two ba three barracks and a Jumis. So that does mean he's going to be getting air defense. Jake very rarely goes uh It's very rarely that he does do that. Uh, he might do some harassment with the Banshee here and there, but it's not really worth getting the, the actual engineering bit unless he's actually going to go for upgrades which most Terran players will but hey who knows 
So Jake is going to be getting the first siege tank of the game out. Here comes the Reaper harassment again. This time it's for Tom's side. But this time Tom's got more of a defense. If he's not careful, he could lose a few SCVs. He needs to pull these Marines over here. Or on his mineral line. He has got a, there's his missile turret going up. He needs to pull these over here to deny any attack. Those Reapers can be a pain in the ass, but Jake now does that. SCV is probably going to get taken out, so that missile turret is going to get taken down. And Tom, do, uh, Jake does now know that it's going for missile turrets anyway, so he probably won't go for uh, very much. Here come, can he save it? Oh, the Reaper just gets out of there in time. The SCV will finish that. He probably should set that to finish that one off straight away. Is he going to do that? I don't think he is. Is he going to do that? I don't know. Tom should really put a tech lab on that. Here comes James' speedlings. Now, this is going to be interesting for James. The only problem being is because Jake has got two siege tanks, one on the high ground, where James doesn't actually have vision, so he can't really do anything. That was Tom's scan, so Tom does now know what he's got. I don't even know what James... I don't even know what he's tried there, but James is going to have one hell of a time trying to get through that. He's not, he's, oh, he's actually using that. So he's, James is going for a very basic uh, Zergling Hydra. And he's only mining off one. Oh, he's mining off two gas now, but he's only mining off four probes. He should really go for gas on these two, if it depends on what build he's going for. Like I said, I don't really know Zerg that well. So Tom's still not put us a, a tech lab on that yet. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Put it on. There we go. Has he going for any? No, he's not going for any of those. Is he going for a starport? He's going for a starport. That's probably going to be used for medivacs. I doubt he's going to go for air harassment because I don't know. Tom doesn't really go air harassment as far as I know. Those roaches are probably going to go back to base to defend base at home. He has no vision on the zone like a terror now though, which does mean uh, that could have been valuable for James because if he kept that on there, then he could have seen the terrans moving out. If they move through the middle, which probably would be a bit quicker for him, he would know that they're coming so we could... Uh, Pucker up, as we like to say. Tom, oh, that's Jake, sorry. Oh, Jake's getting, uh, sorry, Tom's getting Stimpak. I think Jake already has Stimpak. No, he actually hasn't got Stimpak. <gasps> that is not like Jake at all. So if Tom actually engages and he has more units than, uh, or if he's careful, he can actually probably destroy that. I can't believe Jake. Oh, there is the Stimpak going down, but Tom is going to get it out earlier. So I doubt Tom's going to go for an attack anyway. But at this point in time, he's actually got the advantage. Now, only problem being, Tom is well behind in economy. Let's have a look at the income. See, Tom is well behind in economy. Jake is running off to James and Jake themselves are both running off two bases. I think James, uh, Jake is probably it's awkward that putting James and Jake in the same one. It's horrible. Um, Jake is probably going to win this battle because. He's obviously with siege tanks. That's all James has got. If he's not careful, he will lose his. Jake will probably start his siege tanks somewhere around this area here and use that marine to get his uh, vision forward, which I'm going to suspect he is. There he is. So if he's not careful now, James is going to go into the attack, and those are going to get completely wiped out by the siege tanks. He shouldn't have really gone for that. He should have gone really for the siege tanks straight away. James is going to go for the Zerg player first because the Zerg player are... Uh, Oh, I want to say overpowered, but I'll probably piss some people off. But in my opinion, they are a bit overpowered, but that's probably going to get beaten by a lot. James is definitely lost this now. Unless he's careful, unless he has like, some early units, which he doesn't. It's, ma it's just Mass Roach and Hydra. Well, not Mass, mass Roach and Hydra. Zergling, I mean, sorry. And he's going to move all his bases over. He's probably going to lose a few drones in the process there. But he has no longer got vision, so Jake is going to be moving up with constant reinforcements on the way. So, but Jake, so little does Tom know, Jake no, sorry, that Jake, Jam is actually moving it on the attack. Now, this could be really, really interesting for these two, because Jake is attacking this base. Has Tom got any, all he's using is, is actually Marines. Tom really needs to unseize that tank, but I can see what he's doing is using that for some defense back at home now this attack could end up meaning that jake has to pull back here unless he's really really careful because jake has not got any defense back at home jake is currently supply blocks as well so unless he's pulling in supply depots which he isn't or is he no he's not so he's probably going to be supply block for a bit longer he's probably just lost some units there so tommy's going to go for the attack here this could do some serious damage to jake's economy right here if he decides to go for this base as well but he's going to go up the line there he is tom has also got stim pack and jake doesn't know he's going to go straight for the base straight for the mineral uh, supply depots to block him off 
Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake. That's a bad move there. Uh, that's all right. That is going to force Jake to pull back home, though. And that was a really, really good attack by Tom. Now, I don't know what he's going to do with the C-Tank. He'll probably see Jake probably on this high ground here so we can get um, some vision over. I don't know if James is going to actually help Tom here. Because if Tom loses this battle, he's going to lose all his thing is but it looks like they are moving out Tom uh, Jake god this is confusing as hell uh, Jake's probably gonna go for ha not high ground but he's probably gonna go for some here comes Jake's reinforcements the sea stacks will be here shortly if James doesn't help Tom out in this battle now it probably will be game over for Tom that means but he's still mining it off this base it, the, now look at the income now the income should have gone down Jake income have gone down to more so now Jake hasn't James hasn't got any income at all by the looks of it which is weird I don't know who's going to win this battle, but it looks like Jake is going to whip outside his base. So if Tom's not careful now, he will probably end up losing this battle. But it does mean he's destroyed off one base, but Jake is already rebuilding on that side. And that, Jake is really clever first. Jake's been playing for a long time now. But Tom, if he's not careful, he will lose this battle just like that. He's going to go for a second man. No, Tom, Tom. Move away, go for the second mining base. Oh no, sorry. Oh, he's moved that orbital over there, but now Tom can't get out. So, unless James helps him out a bit here. But by the looks of it, James can't really do anything. Wrong one. Yeah, James really can't do anything at this moment. Let's have a look at the units. Yeah, James really can't do anything at this moment in time. This is all down to Tom. Tom tried to load his medivacs up, but failed miserably. He should have really went round. Then actually, but Jake's probably going to go on the offensive now to try and attack. He's, he did lose one base. Let's have a look at the spending. Oh, the wrong one. Let's look at the APM. Obviously, Jake's got the higher APM of the bunch. But it does mean uh, Tom actually de delayed mining for quite some time though. So that does mean Jake is probably a bit behind it at this point. Let's try. Jake will probably mule up. Jake is well behind in income now. He has still got these barracks, so Tom should really concentrate on taking that out if he could. It, uh, it has forced Jake to relocate on now. James is in the lead with income, so James will probably end up going for some air units, maybe. I don't know. I hope he does. I really do. Tom is only just now going for plus one. James, that was a massive hit by Tom, if I'm quite honest, because he took out quite a few. He forced to move his... Uh, uh, his barracks, not his barracks, his orbital commands, or his command bases, command centers. So that did delay mining for quite some time. But, like I said, James is. Because Jake, Jake already got a lot of minerals in the bank anyway, he could really afford to lose that battle. But he did do some serious damage to Tom. Tom still hasn't expanded. He should have. He could expand right here with no problems. He could. To be fair, that's probably the only safe place to do it. Probably right here, straight away, is probably the safe place for him. I don't know really. I don't know. This is quite a close game. This because because of that attack that Tom did, and he wiped out one of his bases, forcing him to rebuild. So Tom was expecting to actually be back there, but little does he know he's actually moved to the two bases next to the one. His naturals. I really don't. Know. This is a close game. If James went err uh, right now, he would probably decimate. If I'm quite honest, all he had to do was put down these siege tanks, and Tom could attack from the front. And that would literally be game over for him if he was not careful. If they macro properly and they, they actually talk properly, communicated properly to each other, then they could probably could win this battle. If James just went up, but he still hasn't got a spire down yet. Why? James, oh my god. James, James, James. He's just going, uh, Mass Roach Hydra. It's always going for James. If you'd have gone uh, units, then you would have been alright. You could have actually probably won this battle if he had ultras, sorry, muters, because all that Jake's got at this moment in time is 24 marines, 9 marauders, no, sorry, no, 28 marines, uh, 8 siege tanks. There's a lot of siege tanks, but don't forget, siege tanks can't attack her. Uh, so if Tom was to move in, try and take out as many of these marines as he could it would mean that he'd put in pressure off james so james could take out the siege tank so tom could move in a bit more but jake is now pumping, constantly pumping out units so it is a bit of a pain for him really is he still building off his barracks i don't know he's really lift that up and moving across so his units aren't traveling as far should really start using the keyboard really 
Go look, let's have a look what we've got. So then we've now got one infantry um each. Jake, uh, sorry, yeah, Jake is going to finish that first. Jake has got another orbital command on the way. He's probably going. He's probably going to mule up. Tom has finally decided to expand. Tom could literally. Tom and James could literally end this right here and right now if James just went her units. I think Tom is scanning in all the wrong places. Does he actually know? Oh, though he does, he does know that he's there. So, so Jake doesn't know that James has expanded down here yet, and he doesn't know that Tom's expanded there just yet. This this is quite a close game to be honest. I don't know because James is no word. Uh, Tom's not. Uh, it's confusing as hell. Jake has no air defense. All he's got is his Marines, and that's it. They could literally win this game right now and one missile turret going down at this moment in time. That's literally all that is going on. If oh no, James, 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 James is James is just wasting you. James is just wasting there because the hydralis can only attack her. Uh, so it is really pointless for James to go hydras like that because he knows for the fact James uh, Jake probably won't go for her, but. Oh, they've messed this game up. They? I was really rooting for these two guys as well. I like the little block off that Tom's doing there with the supply depots. But the longer they leave this, that is it. James could, like I said, James could go out uh, and that's it. If these two were actually working as a team, they could wipe Jake out right at this moment in time. Because that attack to Tom did more to Jake than I thought it would do. I don't know, to be honest. This is a close game. Jake is supply block though, but he's, put, he's concentrating on putting those down. Using his orbital commands to send in extra supplies. I really don't know. Let's have a look how many they've got. 56 marines. There's a lot of marines. Like I said, if Tom attacked from the front, James attacked from the air, uh, and wiped out that line, then it'll be alright. Oh, oh, is there a drop? I did not see that drop. Very nice, Tom. I like it. Now get her out of there. Get her out of there. Can you load up? Can you load up? Oh my god, he actually can, but he unfortunately did lose that many of that. Now that was a good drop. That was a really, really good drop. Let's have a look at the units lost. James, Jake has actually lost the most, but now this is going to force uh, Jake to mule up quite a lot. So, But that was a really, really nice drop by Tom. I didn't see that, so I like that. They, they, they're working quite well as a team, if I'm honest. Ah, oh, the little block off, it's not really pointless. Tom, no, just go for the attack. Oh, James, you messed up there, you really have. I, I'm I'm rooting for these guys, but they could have really done a lot more. That is forced Jake to do another job. That's probably going to go for the Zerg player, though. But this is probably where the Ultras, Hydra, sorry, will come in handy for a bit. Is that Zergling going to spot the Medivac as James is paying attention? Yes, he will. If he's careful now, he can actually spot that. He's probably going to prepare for it. Is he? No. Jay's going for another base over there. I don't think he is. Nice little afterburn there. But this is really pointless because this base is practically doing nothing at this moment in time. James is probably going to realise that he's going to be attacked right about now. His Queen's attacking that. Is he going to go for the drop? Yes, he is. He's going to send all his units back if he's not careful. There he is. He's probably going to lose the queen. The queen will be lost. There we go. But that, is he going to take that out? Yes, he is. That's where the hydras come in handy there. But Jake now does know that James has gone hydra, so he probably won't go for any more air units. This base, this base, this base, this base is really oversaturated, so Jake, uh, James really needs to sell that out. James, I think Jake might be going for an attack. And leaving the siege tanks at home just in case of a attack by Tom. Tom really, really did some damage with that drop, with the drop as well as the attack. Now this, now this battle is really one-sided. Jake will probably win this battle. The main reason being is Stimpak. Stimpak can do a lot of damage, especially to Zerg units, as they call them. They are squishy. <laughs> And it looks like they lost quite a few there. And Jake needs to bunch up his marines there to do some minimum, some maximum damage. James is probably going to run straight into these. James should really stay on the high ground, but he's not going to. There's the big stim there. I don't know. I think this is going to be won by the Zerg, actually. So James, that's going to force him out. That's Paul Tom should really, really, really go for the attack now back home because there's nothing back home. Just the siege tanks. Like I said, if. Uh, 
James had went, uh, he would have destroyed. He really would have. He's gonna be, he's gonna be forcing Jake to be back home, but he's gonna run straight into the siege tank line, and it is gonna be absolutely devastating. Tom should really be helping at this point. Tom's not doing nothing. He's taking that unit slow and straight into the siege tank line. Oh, nice burrow there by James. But that does mean he can't really do anything. He's gonna stim straight after him though. But that does mean he's gonna move back. James. Ooh. Really, I really do, really, really, really want them to go her. Uh, just someone go her, uh, please. No. Jake, if Jake, well, Jake, I don't know. I really don't know who's going to win this game, to be honest, because Jake and James, Jake and Tom, James and Tom, God, that's confusing as hell. James and Tom aren't really working as a team. Jake, Tom went for that nice attack there. Didn't really have anything to back it up. It did some serious damage, but James just did that attack then. It did quite a bit. It forced Jake to move back to his actual base. Is he going to send that out? He's going to send SCV to scout to see where he is. But these two aren't working as a team at all. It's really, really disappointing, unfortunately. So all he had to do was go, uh, got two, all he's got to put up with is two missile turrets. And now, because he's let it get too high, the Marines are quite high at this moment in time. See, it's not air defense, just from the Marines. Like I said, if Tom attacked from the side, James attacked from the front, like James is going to do now, but Tom isn't backing him up. That is the only problem. James, Tom isn't doing anything. Tom is not backing him up. He's actually really winding me up now, because Tom isn't backing his teammate up at all. He can really do some serious damage if he was if he's not careful. I mean, if he's if Jake isn't careful here, he could really do some serious damage. He's probably gonna give up on that base. Is he gonna move his marines out? I doubt it. Probably gonna let him. He's probably gonna let James to come to him. Here comes Tom finally. No, he doesn't. He just moves to the front of his base. Oh, this is disappointing. This is really really disappointing. But James, however, does have the high ground. I like it. I didn't really think of that. But that's that bit of those rocks is going to get completely wiped out. James still had enough time to wipe out that starport. Tom isn't doing anything again. He's probably going to go for another drop, which probably won't do much. Does James does Jake know about these two bases? No, he doesn't. Here comes Tom with the attack. If he actually manages to find this base, which I don't think he will, Jake might might be in trouble he's bunched his units up which is nice and good that's a lot of medivacs so Tom I mean Jake might have a bit of problem on his hands they're probably going to wait for a while <laughs> here come his marines Tom is attacking from the side though Jake however oh does Jake not oh he doesn't know the <laughs> Oh, this is it, this is it, this is it right here. This is it. This could be it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is it right here. Tom is going for the attack. Tom should really attack the base right now. James should really pop his units up and go for the base. He hasn't got anything left. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. You can attack this. You can do this. Come on. Is that gonna that's is that gonna force Jake to move back? I don't think so. So we're just gonna go straight for the attack. Oh no, he is gonna retreat back home. Oh no, he's not, okay. So this is it. It's probably going to be a base race and a half. Little does he know he's going to come in from behind with a nice little sea tank there. Oh, this is, could be it right here. Oh, nice defensive. This is a good game. Just James. Just James. Mm, put them on sea tanks. Put them on sea tanks. Sea tanks do the massive splash damage. James is probably going to win that battle. But because of the stim there, I really don't know he's going to win this. Tom is attacking that base. Tom's completely wiped to me. All he needs to do is attack this base though. Oh, this is such a close game. This is such a good game. This is literally all up to Tom though. Tom doesn't really know about this base, I don't think. Yes, he does know about that base, but I think he's going to remove him back home. I don't know. There it is! There is the victory. Now, that was a really, really good game. I really, really enjoyed that. Let's have a look at the score screen, shall we? Let's have a look at that. Now that was a really, really good game. I have to admit, that was really, really good. That was re the teamwork. What couldn't have been, couldn't, could have been better between 
James and Tom, but however, they still did win the game. That was really, really good. Thank you very much for watching, dudes. If you did enjoy this StarCraft cast, please comment down below. Sorry about that, guys. Skype in the background. If you did like it, please comment down below. Would you like to see more like this? Just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, dudes. Peace out.